Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to another Victober video. Today I'm continuing with my series Five Victorian Novels About and I'm going to be talking about five Victorian novels about unrequited love. So this theme to talk about was not on my original list and plan for this series and it wasn't a video I was planning to make in Victober. But recently I have read two in particular interesting Victorian novels that look at unrequited love and I find it quite an interesting theme in Victorian literature so I thought I would make a video about it today and discuss five novels that I think look really interestingly at unrequited love. Now in some of these books the love is perceived as being unrequited whereas perhaps it is not and in some of these books the love is unrequited for the bulk of the book but not for all of it and in some of these books the love is unrequited forever but I think regardless these books do look at unrequited love in a really interesting way. The first one I want to mention is Villette by Charlotte Bronte. This is my favourite Charlotte Bronte novel and I love it a lot. It follows a young woman called Lucy Snow who doesn't have much money, doesn't have many prospects and she moves from England to Belgium in order to work in a school there and while there she meets several different people including a man called John who she falls kind of desperately in love with. They become good friends and he has no idea how she feels and in fact he is in love with one of the pupils in the school, a woman of sort of 17, 18 called Ginevra Fanshawe who Lucy disapproves of in many ways. Her and Ginevra have like a weird half friendship, half like antagonistic relationship and Lucy is both sort of jealous of Ginevra's relationship with John but also feels intensely sad that for her Ginevra does not value John enough and that Ginevra is not worthy of John and so it's a kind of mix of sort of jealousy and genuine care and love for and worry for John. I think the way this book looks at kind of unrequited love is really really interesting especially the ways that kind of Lucy's feelings for John feed into her senses of loneliness and depression that she feels through a lot of the book. This plot sort of mostly goes through the first half of the book and it's very interesting as well to consider how that sort of changes in the second half of the book but I think it's very interesting to see how sort of Lucy relates to John and the way she feels about him and I think it's described really really beautifully and really really interestingly. The next one I want to mention is Olive by Diana Mullet Crake which I just finished a few days ago as of filming this and I absolutely loved it. It was a really brilliant engaging and wonderful book. It's about a woman called Olive. We follow her from her childhood into her adulthood. Now Olive is born with a deformity, she has something wrong with her spine which means she looks slightly different to the people around her and this from her childhood means that she feels she is set apart from the rest of the world and that she is kind of not necessarily not worthy of love but just in a different sphere to all the people who are going to go on to have romantic relationships. As a teenager she overhears one of her friends sort of making a joke about the fact that she will never be married and she really kind of takes this to heart and believes that nobody will ever love her. And then at one point in the book she meets a man who she kind of becomes very interested in and slowly kind of devoted to and the way the novel looks at sort of her relationship with this man, that growing friendship and her interest in him and how much it pains her that as far as she is concerned they will never be anything more to each other than what they are, than close friends, is really really interesting. Olive is a brilliant book for a lot of reasons but I also feel like the way that it describes Olive's affection for this man, feeling that it is not returned and feeling that he can never know what she knows and that no one around them would ever think of it either, sort of she's close friends with this man's mother as well and his mother has sort of no idea and Olive feels that that is because she doesn't look like other women and therefore nobody thinks that she could ever be a romantic interest for someone but also no one thinks that she could ever be romantically interested in someone, like everyone kind of views her as asexual because of her deformity whereas actually she is, you know, deeply passionately attracted to this man and I just think the way that Olive, the novel, looks at this is really really interesting and it's one that I would definitely recommend, especially if, if you enjoy reading a Victorian novel that looks a bit at unrequited love. The next one I want to mention is Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. I love this novel a lot, it is a really really wonderful book by Dickens and absolutely fascinating. The main character is a young man called Pip. We sort of follow him from his childhood into his adulthood and he grows up as a blacksmith and then one day when he's sort of in his late teens I suppose finds out that he has great expectations that he is due to inherit some money and everything kind of goes on from there. But Pip throughout the book is in love with this young girl then later woman called Estella who is enchanting, fascinating, incredibly beautiful and incredibly incredibly cold. He struggles to get a sense of how she really feels about him and also struggles to get a sense of how her adopted mother Miss Havisham feels about him and about them as a pair because Miss Havisham sometimes seems to push them together but it's never quite clear whether Miss Havisham really wants Pip and Estella to marry or whether Miss Havisham just likes toying with people. And the way that this book looks at Pip's kind of relationship towards P Estella and his kind of devotion to her and, and the way that he kind of struggles in the sort of close intimacy they have to a certain degree and their kind of friendship 
and the fact that they have known each other for a very very long time but also the fact that she is continually cold towards him tells him repeatedly sort of that she is heartless and he just he finds it impossible to believe it's a really really interesting book and i find the relationship between estella and pip especially fascinating here the next one I want to mention is Wives and Daughters by Elizabeth Gaskell. This brilliant novel is one that I'm currently rereading. I'm currently listening to it on audiobook. And the way this book talks about unrequited love is just... It's amazing. It's wonderful. So the main character of this, Molly, um, we follow her sort of in her late teens and what happens when her father remarries and suddenly a stepmother and a stepsister appear in her house. Now Molly also has a close relationship with a family who live nearby um, and one of the sons of that family Molly kind of develops a bond with and falls desperately and slowly and unknowingly falls in love with this man who thinks of her very fondly and only as a sister but falls passionately in love with Molly's stepsister Cynthia and the, the way this book looks at how Molly kind of deals with that it's just wonderful it's just so beautiful because genuinely Molly never really understands her own feelings and doesn't even admit her own feelings to herself which makes it so much sort of harder and more poignant because as a reader you entirely know and you entirely understand what Molly feels but Molly doesn't understand what she feels and she can't bear to understand what she feels because she is determined that if it would make this man happy to marry her stepsister then of course that's what he should do because that's what she wants because she cares about him and um, it's so it's so well done especially I think as well because Molly is not really jealous exactly or she has moments of jealousy but because she's so fond of her stepsister and they're really really close friends the jealousy is very different to what you find in quite a lot of other Victorian novels that look at unrequited love so I think that's certainly something really interesting to consider and yeah I would just highly highly recommend Wives and Daughters it's a beautiful beautiful book and the way it looks at kind of unrequited love is just it's just fantastic the next book I want to mention is The Way We Live Now by Anthony Trollope now this is a book with a lot of unrequited love in it I believe there are at least four people who are in love with someone who doesn't love them back maybe more than that there's certainly a few one I think that especially stands out to me is Roger Carberry who is desperately in love with his cousin Hetta who is a fair bit younger than him and who she can only view as effectively an uncle and just cannot consider in that way but he is so much in love with her and so much believes that they ought to be happy together that this kind of really affects their whole sort of family relationship especially when Roger finds out that his best friend is also in love with Hetta and he feels very much that his best friend is not quite good enough for Hetta especially as his friend Paul has sort of other romantic entanglements and I think the way it looks especially at kind of Roger's conscience and his difficulty in knowing whether he is genuinely and kindly trying to protect Hetta from a man that might not be good enough for her or whether he is just kind of serving his own self-interest it's really really interesting it's a really really brilliant book for a number of reasons but I especially find the way it looks at unrequited love really really powerful there we have it those are five Victorian novels about unrequited love let me know if you have any other Victorian books that you like that look at unrequited love I know there are quite a lot when picking out my five novels for this video I had quite a lot of choice but these five I think are really really interesting in the way they look at unrequited love and the way they kind of look at the pain of it I suppose yeah they're all really moving and powerful novels and definitely five I would recommend so thank you very much for watching and I'll be back very soon with another bookish video